Hey gang, and welcome to our newest uh, YouTube playlist series. Uh, thanks for following the last one, my uh, road to the show for the Alberta Open, uh, where I came uh, third in the Masters Men's Physique category. Uh, so we got an exciting one on board here for us. Uh, we're going to follow this from week to week. So I would urge you to like, comment, and subscribe, the usual great stuff to help out the channel. So this one is going to be about the Lumen Metabolic Tracker. And I'll tell you a little bit about what that is, and we'll kind of dive into it a little bit. I know very little about it at this point, just some generalities. Uh, and I'm going to go through, I've got a lot of information on my laptop here. Uh, I don't want to miss anything out, so I'm going to use a little bit of cheater notes as we go. So please pardon me if I am gazing away. I'm just sitting in front of my laptop. I did a little bit of my due diligence and some research on the company. This is, well, it is and it isn't, a paid endorsement. Not really. They provided me with a uh, discount code. So if you want to try the Lumen uh, Metabolic Tracker yourself, uh, you're more than welcome to use the code. Again, help support the channel. Uh, I did get one of these devices. I haven't got it yet, but they've shipped it to me. Uh, we did get that for free to test out and provide our honest review. Uh, and for those of you who know me, I have been in the fitness and bodybuilding world for, geez, over 40 years, since the age of about 13, 13, 14 years old. And through that time, I have studied my ass off uh, about sports performance, about nutrition, about exercise physiology, sports performance drugs, and things that are new and innovative in helping us reach our goals. Uh, and this is what Lumen is claiming that it will do. So let's talk about it for a little bit. I haven't received it yet, so when I do, uh, we will do uh, an unboxing. You can check it out. I'm going to be using Coach Antonella as our proverbial guinea pig lab rat. She is going to uh, do this. Uh, the reason I'm not is, well, for a couple reasons. I'm a bit OCD with my stuff, so I'm very reluctant to change. Uh, Antonella is uh, graciously volunteered to give this device a shot and give her honest review. Uh, and I tell you, am I cautiously optimistic? Yes, just like I am with every other product that has pretty bold claims, uh, I am always cautiously optimistic. Have I thrown my money out the window over the years on some really stupid, dumbass shit. Uh, yeah, I'm sure I have between that and nutrition supplements, but you are going to get an honest review of the device and I will let you know whether it's work, worth it or not. Uh, I'm certainly not going to recommend a device for our clients or any other product for that matter. If A, I haven't used it myself, B, it has shown to have good real world results and not just the shit that we see on paper, uh, good anecdotal results, good measurable results, and this is a fitness tool. So if it can make our job a little bit easier in the gym, why not have at it? Uh, so let's talk about it. Uh, it's a handheld metabolism tracker founded in 2018 by twin sisters. Uh, at least one of them is a doctor from New York and London. Uh, the company raised a significant amount of money um, to launch the product. And uh, one of them is a um, Ironman triathlon competitor. So not only is she brilliant, a brilliant mind, but she's also a hardcore athlete and she felt that this device would mimic uh, certain medical devices and basically the understanding is it's measuring our breath to determine if we are in a fat burning state or if our bodies are using mainly carbohydrates as a fuel source so let's get into this a little bit how does this thing work and what is it supposed to do? Um, well, it's a handheld device. It goes into a portable charger uh, and you breathe into the device. You start by inhaling, holding, exhaling, 
and it's measuring CO2 concentration of your breath to determine your respiratory exchange ratio as to whether you're burning fats or carbs as a fuel source. And it's going to rank on a scale of one to five. It has an accompanying app that connects to the device, and it's going to give you a rating on how much kind of, of each you are burning in relation to analyzing your breath. Uh, you use the apps to tag breaths. It's saying you, when you're waking up, pre-meals, post-meals, and it gives you some contextual feedback. It, it provides a metabolic footprint and declared goals to recommend daily macro balanced meals. Now, this is where I find it to be very interesting. Uh, a big thing, at, I was going to say as of late, but it's not as of late. Bodybuilders have been doing this for years, but it's starting to move into the mainstream diet fitness people a little bit, and that's carbohydrate cycling. And the idea behind that is you have low days where you're not training, you have medium days in which you are training consuming uh, more carbohydrates, not a lot of fat, and then you have high days, uh, usually once or twice a week where you jack up your carb intake, you lower your fat intake, and you utilize insulin as a tool to draw glycogen and nutrient-rich substances into the working muscles for a volumizing performance-based effect. What this device is going to do, and it has an associated meal tracking app where you program your foods into it, it's going to make recommendations for you for the day in accordance with whether you're using too much carbs as a fuel source or too much fat as a fuel source and give you daily recommend recommendations on what you should be eating for the day based on this reading. Seems pretty cool, right? I am... a uh, intrigued there are a ton of reviews on it uh, most of them are positive some of them are negative it is a subscription based type of service and i know what you're saying now everything in the friggin world is a subscription based service but this can if it works as they claim it it, it does and the feedback that is out there seems to be pretty promising one of the folks, when I posted this on my social media, made a valid comment. And what it is that she said was, if it was that good, it would be flying off the shelves. So I thought for a minute, I said, well, that's a pretty valid point. Like, why haven't, why hasn't everyone heard of this? Well, so I did a little bit of chat GPT to find out that their annual sales, and I don't know, this is unofficial, so don't hold me to it, was about $122 million last year. So you got to figure that it's got to be doing okay, right? But is there a correlation between great sales and a fantastic product? I don't know. Maybe yes, maybe no. But it does seem to have very promising reviews. Uh, so it's definitely something that we are going to try. It seems like only the negative criticism comes from the fact that there is this subscription-based model that surrounds it. But if it does what it says it does, I think that this could really, well, you got to figure that, you know, you're paying a gym membership on a subscription-based model, typically. Uh, and, you know, you might be paying for an app that tracks your foods, a decent one, like the very good ones that are very robust, typically have some sort of subscription model around them. So, you know, this can tend to eliminate some of those things. And you've got to look at it. It's going to be maximizing your effort, minimizing your time. And that's ultimately going to save you a lot of headaches in the future, really, and consolidate your time and being able to focus on, hey, should I be having more carbohydrates today? Am I good where I'm at? And it's also great for people who like to do intermittent fasting, because here's a nice key takeaway. Intermittent fasting has been proven for some people to cause a shift from utilizing fat as a fuel source to converting the proteins that you have into carbohydrate source. So even though that you don't feel like you're taking in that many carbs, your body is using protein as a carb source. It's called gluconeogenesis. 
and that makes for very expensive carbohydrates. So wouldn't it be nice to know if you need less of one or more of another and give you some idea as to whether your eating is on point for what it is that your goal is? Uh, so let's uh, plug on here. So the summary, let's go through the pros. Real-time insight into fat versus carb metabolism. We've talked about that. Personalized guidance and educational support. We'll see what that means. Community and professional support improves adherence. The limitations are that it's a subscription-based model, so there's going to be an ongoing cost involved. It requires breathing precision and user consistency. And this is where we tend to fall off the wagon. I don't think this device is going to be geared towards the casual, health-minded, I'd like to lose a few pounds type of person that falls on and off the wagon. I really think that this device is for somebody who takes fitness, uh, health and wellness very seriously and has been able to commit to themselves over a long period of time that this device is something that would be utilized over a long period of time. So you don't want to buy this thing and throw it in a drawer because you're just lazy or you're falling off the wagon or you're just eating like shit or garbage. And fitness enthusiasts and athletes optimize nutrient timing as a result of utilizing the device. It's that in, to state my point here, it says individuals committed to lifestyle change and fine-tuning metabolic habits. Now, that's not many of us, unfortunately. I wish it was a lot more, uh, you know, but for those of us who are a little bit more into ser serious fitness and health uh, and driving performance-based results, this could be a very, very useful tool. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to, I'm going to go, and I tell you, it pains me <laughs> to hand over the reins of my taking control of Coach Antonella's diet and passing it off to an app with a device associated to it that we really at this point don't know a whole heck of a lot about because we haven't used it in all fairness. Uh, but I have watched some YouTube videos uh, and it does look pretty promising as far as the results go, but I am completely going hands off. So what she is gonna do and what we plan on doing is updating you know, week by week what her results are, what her progress is, and she's going to follow the recommendations of eating that the app provides based on her following it as instructed, breathing into the device, looking at the app and seeing how she should compose her meals for the day in accordance with what her, her goals are. Uh, and her goals at the moment is that she wants to lose, uh, lose some body fat and also preserve or gain some lean muscle if she, if she can. Obviously, if she's in a caloric deficit, it's going to be difficult to put on muscle. But if our goal is to preserve her lean muscle with what she currently has and lose the body fat, it'll uh, show a nice, healthy body recomposition. So I urge you to share, like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Like I said, we're going to make it a playlist so you can follow this from week to week. If you want to get one of these devices yourself, don't go rushing out right at the moment unless you want to kind of follow us through this journey as well because I haven't given my two thumbs up just yet other than saying it looks promising. I've looked at other people's results. They also look promising. Um, it is a pretty big commitment from, from what I gather, but isn't that what fitness and health and nutrition is? It's, it's a lifelong commitment. So again, if you're just kind of hacking and poking and you think that it's a novel idea, I, it's probably not going to be for you. But if you are serious and committed to your fitness goals and you really want some assistance in knowing when to eat and what to eat, that can really, because essentially what I believe it to be doing, it's going to put you into kind of like a carb cycling anyways, based on whether they think that should be a high day, a medium day, or a low day. And that would be fantastic because right now, pretty much the vast majority of us that are doing carb cycling are just following a fixed routine and hoping that that works. And typically does it? Yeah, it does. But is there room for optimization? Always. I think that there's always room to make good 
even better. So if this device has the ability to do it, we're gonna be weighing out the pros and cons to see if it is in fact worth it, if the subscription model is worth it, or if you are just kind of, just as good, kind of doing it on your own the way that we've done it all along. Now, I'm not gonna do it myself. Coach Antonell is gonna do it. I think what we're gonna to try to incorporate as well is perhaps some blood glucose readings because that should typically correlate with what this device is telling us. You know, obviously if her blood sugar is a little bit higher, uh, she's gonna have excess carbohydrates circulating in her system overflowing into her blood glucose levels and those readings should show her as burning carbohydrates more as a fuel source. So we're kind of going to use blood glucose as a secondary uh, type of uh, monitoring agent just to see where this is. We'll post her weight. Uh, I'm going to do uh, body fat caliper testing with her see where body fat is at the start, see where it is after using it for a while, and see what type of uh, result that we can push. I'm going to put the link for this device in the description below. If you want to grab it, try it out. Uh, again, I can't give it my glaring two thumbs up yet, but if you are curious and you do want to kind of check it out and kind of follow this journey, try it along with us, maybe share some of your comments as to, uh, you know, what type of results that you're getting, that type of thing, feel free to throw it in the comments. If you have any comments with, you know, maybe you guys should try this or what do you think of that? You know, put those in the comments down below too. We always love to hear from you, respond to every one of those comments. And hey, if you're interested in coaching yourself and losing some weight or gaining some muscle, uh, we've been in this business for a long, long time and we have many, 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 you know, successful reference stories to be able to share with you and those who are interested in joining our online coaching platform and program. So I'm going to sign off for now. Links in the description. Subscribe to the playlist. Do not miss a single episode. And we'll come at you when we get the device and do the unboxing on the next video. Thanks for watching. And as always, be well. Cheers.